In this video, we'll be learning how to do inventory counts with RepairDesk. Using this video, you'll be able to learn how to do manual inventory counts and how to do automatic inventory counts. Let's begin. To start the process, head over to the inventory section from the top bar and from the drop down list, click on inventory count. This takes you to the Manage Inventory Count screen, where you'll have a list of all your previous inventory counts. The entries will be tagged as either counted or paused, indicating their status. To start a new inventory count, click on the Inventory Count button in the upper right corner of the screen to open up the Add New Inventory Count screen. Your inventory count will have an automatically generated count name, consisting of your business name, date, and time. You can edit these if you'd like to customize your inventory count records. You'll also find entries for your store name, the employee performing the count, and the starting date fields for record purposes. Make sure they are all filled right and move on to the count process. If you're in a hurry, you can count multiple items at once with the help of category, manufacturer, and device fields. Use them to narrow down your search for items and then click the Add to Inventory Count List button. Once done, scroll down to see all the items that match your search in the Inventory Count list. You can delete the items from the list that you don't want to include in your Inventory Count by selecting them going to Action, and clicking on Drop Selected. Every item on the list will have an expected and counted field, along with other basic details. The expected number of each item is its on-hand quantity in your POS system, while the counted number is the quantity you have in store that you'll manually count and note down. Once you've completed your list, click the Action button and select print. Your list will now be printed using your configured printer and you can use it to start your inventory count. Now scroll down to find the pause count button. Click on it to pause the ongoing inventory count. Take the paper list to your warehouse or stockroom and start your manual count. Once done, you can update your pause inventory count. Shift the counted numbers of all the items from paper to the system by editing the counted column and click on the Proceed to Review button. You'll see a new pop-up showing all the findings of your inventory count process. Here you'll be able to review all the items to see which ones are equal and which ones don't match up. You can also view the matched and unmatched inventory stocks in separate tabs for a better view. For unmatched records, you'll be able to see the cost gained or lost for each item depending on its higher or lower physical stock. To update your inventory records to match your on-hand quantity, click the Update Inventory Level checkbox and click on Save. Doing so will automatically adjust your stock levels and update your inventory records. If you want to update your stock levels directly in the POS system without using a pen and paper, there are three convenient ways for you to do that. All these methods require you to take your POS system with you to the warehouse or stockroom to try them out. For the first method, when you have a complete list of all the items in your POS system, instead of printing the list on paper, simply count and enter the counted numbers of items in the software directly. This way, you'll be able to skip all the paperwork and finish off your inventory count process much faster. Another way is to use the search bar to do an item by item inventory count. Simply search for the item by its ID, serial, SKU, or IMEI from the search options at the top. Add the counted number in the quantity field and hit count. The item will be added in the inventory count list with expected and counted numbers. Finally, you can connect your barcode scanner with your system, click on the search bar, 
scan the item's barcode with the scanner, and hit the count button. The POS system will automatically populate the item's information with its expected and counted numbers. The counted number of an item will automatically be updated as you keep going. When you're done, you can click on Proceed to Review, Update Inventory Level, and Save just like the manual process. You can view the record of all your inventory counts from the Manage Inventory Count screen, and even apply different search filters to find the one you're looking for. For more information, please visit our knowledge base. RepairDisk lets you carry out smooth and painless stock takes and inventory counts both manually and automatically. This feature is useful for checking your existing stock versus what's actually on hand in your store, so you always have the right amount of stock at the right time. If you have any questions, please contact us at support at Thanks for watching.